Let it go. Hello. Hi. I'm going to show you how to properly remove a brake caliper. Um, I've seen many YouTube videos of people replacing these, at least just removing them, and they generally use a screwdriver or a pry bar. Um, definitely just way over uh, what you need to do. And most importantly, you could break something important like the caliper itself. Um, you know, you have the rubber seal around the piston and on Chrysler's, you know, they have this weird um, uh, non-metallic uh, material. It's almost like a plastic. And if you um, pry in the wrong place, you can break one of those. And they're this is an expense you don't need and probably a headache you don't want at the last minute. So now before I get started, let me tell you why I have the credentials for this. I am ASC certified in brakes. Granted, I did it in 1990, but I am ASC certified and these have not changed. Um, being that, I have probably at least um, 30 plus, almost 40 years experience doing brakes. Now, I also going to tell you that first, this only works, this is only the method to use for what we call a full floating caliper. And that is the caliper is actually suspended on either pins or they're on some kind of slides and it's allowed to move. If the caliper has, uh, let's say, um, pistons on both sides of the caliper, then it's a fixed caliper and therefore um, this will not work. Okay, and that's only on like, you know, exotic cars, not your average. Um, also too, if you work, do this on a brake caliper, that has any kind of cables or uh, levers coming out the back of the caliper itself, right back here, uh, this will not work either because those probably have the um, parking brake integrated into it and that requires a different technique. However, um, this will help you just get it off, get the you know caliper off to, so you can uh, retract the piston, but um, it won't, you can only use it a little bit to do this. So now, the most important thing you need to know is that you're going to need this tool, a big C-clamp. You do not need any kind of special um, piston spreaders or other parts that you, or other tools you find on, you know, at your AutoZone or Harbor Freight. You need a big C-clamp. And what we're going to do is we're actually going to compress the piston so that it retracts. Because remember, as the brake pads wear, the piston comes out that removes the uh, you know, makes the brake stay nice and tight and eventually, you know, it won't go back. So you have to retract it. So I'm going to show you how I do this with a brake or with a, a big C clamp. I'm just going to take the clamp. And I am going to put it on the back of the caliper. Now, do not put this on the brake bleeder or the brake hose okay um i mean i've had to do it on a brake hose before but don't please don't do it on a bleeder because it'll break off and now what i'm going to do is just simply just put a little pressure on it and if you can see it started to move back okay this means that the piston has started to go back this is good and now it makes it so easy to remove now you can either draw this all the way back or just do this enough so you can easily remove it and then draw it farther. It's your choice. Um, I like to um, remove it now and then I, I like to clean off the, uh, you know, the rubber seal around the brake boot so I don't push anything in. Um, but it's up to you. So that's all I did. You notice I don't have any pry bars with me. I am going to remove. I've already, I loosened these up. This is the only thing I touched before starting this video. I'm going to remove the two. Uh, screws here that hold the pins on. I should have used a power tool for this, but that's all right. And then now it comes right off. No issues. I don't have to use any special bigger tools. I don't have to take a chance of damaging it. It's all done. So from here, you can you can uh, you're going to have to put this in all the way still because you won't be able to get your new pads and so um, again what I like to do is I will take the and clean this off with a little bit of brake clean and then I will take a brake one of the old brake pads put it in front 
and then compress it in. And that is so much better than doing the this pry thing that I see people do. And they got these weird tools that go in here and expand things. Um, but now, again, this is for your regular everyday car. This is not, you know, something you're gonna find on a Ferrari or a Saab or something cramp weird like that. So keep that in mind. And if it has a cable on the back, you cannot push these pistons. Generally, don't go back in um, with a compression. You have to have a tool that actually twists the piston and puts it in place because of the parking brake assembly. So that's it.